and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer and today we're going to be having a very special Christmas episode. We're going to be creating a sim of Santa and Mrs. Claus and their daughters and one of their daughter's husbands and children. So the idea that I had here was kind of a mix between several Christmas movies that I've watched personally in the last few days from Hallmark and also the Kris Kringle that we see in the 1970s um, stock or claymation um, Santa and so I build I make Santa and Mrs. Claus based off of um, Chris and I forgot what the character on the, the claymation movie's name was but um, it's the one with the winter wizard and all that fun stuff and I think the miser? I, I don't remember the main villain's name, but either way, um, I make them as their younger selves when they first met, and then I turn them into Santa and Mrs. Claus. So I, you know, I make him redheaded first so that the daughters will be redheaded. Um, and I kind of like the idea of like Santa stopped aging as an elder because, you know, he's jolly and happy, and we want Santa to be you know, adorable instead of cute. Cause I always thought that the redheaded Santa was like good looking, which is weird to say about a claymation thing, but I read a lot of anime. So, or I read a lot of manga. I watched a lot of anime. Oh, there's hipster Santa. I forgot that the game preloaded that. That's awesome. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this. I thought that this little hat and jacket combo Santa would really blend in really well. Um, if he went out to adventure and go to parties and here I'm making oh I remembered that the Santa had blue eyes so I had to change that up but now I, I might have been watching a uh, white Christmas too and was blown away I'm blown away every time by um, Bing Cosby's eyes in that it's just it's crazy how blue his eyes are in that movie <laughs> but here I'm making I know that she was a blonde but I really wanted the daughters to turn out with red hair. So I doubled down on the genetics and made sure she was a redhead. Um, and then I had just gotten like a lot of new CC. So I wanted to try it out. So before we turn Mrs. Claus into, you know, Mrs. Claus, elderly, adorable, um, she goes through few of those new CC outfits that weren't really that appropriate for Mrs. Claus. I do put her more on like the medium size range instead of like the full fluffy Mrs. Claus um, that, you know, we know and love. I just kind of, I don't know, there was something about the size that she came out. I was like, you know what, that reminds me of a sweet grandma. So I went with it. Plus like the way that the metrics work for making Sims plus size, it just I don't know if it translates the sweet soft Mrs. Santa and plus this one to me is kind of jazzy like because they've lived a very long time she got to experience like being a flapper and um, <coughs> Hollywood glam in the 50s and things like that so she's a little bit more sparkly and spunky to me than like your normal Mrs. Claus I guess but yeah so she gets a glitzy glamoury uh, gown for her formal wear and I think I put her in like a really cute red number yeah I think I stick with this I'm almost certain I do and I think that's pretty awesome you know Miss Claus showing a little leg and that cute and then of course I give her you know awesome makeup because she's got a young adult daughter and she's got oh that's too racy though for Mrs. Claus um I am in the process right now of building their home so um, I haven't decided if I'm going to release it in two parts because I did put it on the large island or the large lot on the island um, in not San Machino. I don't know why my brain's doing that and not Brindleton Bay. Um, you know where I'm talking about. The world that came with uh, uh, Get to Work. Wow, I, my brain is not working right now. I did have to have or take a Benadryl a little while ago because I put on a hoodie that I didn't wash before I put it on and I got it like I got it old navy so I didn't think about it but I was so itchy from it so it needs washed so I had to take a couple Benadryl and now I'm like just my brain is not working because I'm super sensitive to that stuff but as soon as they generated the sim I was like oh she's perfect she's so cute and the story I had in my in my head was that um, they had two daughters and the older of the two which we haven't made yet 
is going to be completely into Christmas and totally ready to take over the family business. And the younger is still trying to find her Christmas spirit because the idea is that if, um, you know, one of them, because they had two girls, if one of them can't find a husband that wants to take over Santa, the other one's going to have to. And so this, the younger of the two sisters, is really creative and lighthearted and bubbly and has all the Christmas spirit. She just doesn't know if she wants to take over the mantle and you know be immortal and have a kid that takes care of Christmas after that because it's a lot of pressure so you know um, that was the idea in my head that she just she wasn't as into it as her sister was but her sister got a lot of like her mom's glamminess too so like she's she's pretty whew, she's pretty dressed up um, I did love that little outfit but I don't think I'm gonna release a sim with that sort of outfit on just don't think it would be right I do this I got that CC off of uh, the Sims resource on the 3rd of December and it is just absolutely fabulous so you know um, kudos to whoever made that I wish I could make dresses like you do because you're awesome so <laughs> anyways we are moving on to the third of our three outfits I wanted them all to have like a Santa outfit that I could at some point take a picture of all of them. And um, it was just taking me so, so long to build the house that I didn't get to take pictures there. I still haven't finished um, actually, you know, doing the interior of it. I've got, I think the landscape is done. I think so. I just gotta figure out how to get the winter mod to start working. Um, now this sister, I don't know what it was about her, but she just was, I thought she was really cool. Maybe it's the hairstyle, uh, because that is from a period piece hairstyle. It's like from a 1950s, I think, set, um, which you can find on the gallery as well. Once I think once I go back to her hair for something else, you'll see. Um, this character came out really like, va 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 boom, like look at that dear lord. and. I thought she was like a little bit sexier too. Like she took over the mantle. Her mom, you know, passed down all the awesomeness to her. But then I also all I wanted them all to have like a fancy fun outfit too. Or not fancy, but like a cozy. Um I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna put like a ponytail on her. And it's by the same creator. So if I just watch closely, I might be able to there we go. Um, so if you can see that person that's who made those hairs and she has clothes like all of my dresses that have the big um, bottoms to them or like the super um, fishtail to them that's from the same creator so um, I wish I kind of would have used those Santa pajamas for her but oh well um, but yeah so I really I really enjoy this particular sim I think she's really cool I actually got that dress particularly for her when I went CC shopping and then just didn't end up it on. I don't know what happened. I think the idea that I originally had was that one of the sisters was just a little bit more um, mischievous than what I ended up going with. And I think that's because I was watching Deligracy do her create a sim of the Grinch and um, of Santa and Mrs. Claus for her channel while I was watching it. And I think Grinchy kind of might have inspired my mind to be like, oh no, one of the sisters is going to be like, I don't want to be a Claus. I don't want to uh, help the children. I just want to paint and go to Paris and, you know, have lovers and things like that um, and not really know what any of it means because they grew up in the North Pole, not around any people, which, I mean, how did that happen? Which, hello to the husband here. He is super cute. Love this pairing. I love the idea that Santa will be black now when he takes on the mantle. And I imagine that he is like all about it. He's so happy to be Santa. He like believed her right away when she let him in on the family secret. And maybe in this world, like people like honestly know about Santa, you know, and believe. Um, I love this hair, but I wanted her to have just a little bit more. You know, I couldn't figure out what it was, but I wanted her to, I kind of wanted her to look like um, the Obama sisters a little bit, but with the blue eyes from her grandparents. So I went with this kind of more like stylish haircut, but it took me forever to find out what I wanted to put on this kid because I knew I wanted her to be 
kind of like she's more the one that's like I'm not in on this party I'm not doing that so she doesn't wear a lot of red like everybody else um, and then I'm going to have the younger sister adopt a kid so oh and I got that dress for the other like the scandalous sister that never happened um, I'm gonna have the other sister adopt a kid as well and like I think I don't know how, because at first it was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it as if Santa and Mrs. Claus are upset because it's a bloodline thing. Um, but then I was like, but they love children so much that would never play out right. So I'm going to go with, um, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus are super happy to have an adopted child as their uh, grandchildren or as their grandchild or children, depending upon how that goes. Um, so I think, you know, we'll stick to that. Oh, she ends up wearing that, so maybe I do have a storyline for her then later on, huh? Um, I always forget that the hair is changed. What is with that, by the way? If anybody knows why the mods change the hair color on you randomly, especially on the kids and toddlers, please let me know. Because it drives me nuts, like absolutely nuts, when I go to share to the gallery and then the kids' hair changes. I'm like, what? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why fight me on this? Ugh. I kind of like that combo together, actually. That the shirt and the skirt, just in different colors. Um, and then I just really wanted this top to work. I really like that top. But I don't have a lot of stuff that actually goes all the way up and connects. Um, I do put her in more, more red than I thought. So she gets a little, you know, bungee smugglers. <laughs> I just found out that word from James from The Sim Supply the other day from one of his tweets. It just, I didn't know what budgie smugglers were. It's apparently a uh, men's and women's brand of swimwear, but we are almost to the screenshots. If you like what you saw and you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can hang out with me more and see their home soon. Um, and hit the like button if you liked what you saw. I appreciate everybody for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!